think it's too quirky how do you think it's cool right oh well, yeah it's so good to get things going fell into a hole hi friends welcome to the petto place property the country vlog my name is peaches how are you today wagwan in jamaican patwa we are doing a bit of cleaning now we bought this country property um after selling our city property and moved to the countryside nine years ago and as i've said before we have been rebuilding <laughs> rebuilding really we've been like kind of fixing up or fixer up right and so when we moved here there were no gardens there was just a lot of bush and so we keep pushing back and back and back and clearing new spaces so basically that is what we are doing in this video today thank you guys so much for being here to see the transformation happening this area i am calling the pond place and the reason why i'm calling it the pond place is because um we are putting a pond in that area now if you have seen the video where i built that arbor in the front that has a honeysuckle I call that area the seating circle and the reason I call it the seating circle is because a few years ago maybe about three years after we moved in I decided that I was going to put in a circle that would host the concrete table and benches that we took from the city yeah it was heavy to move but we move it nonetheless because we didn't want to have to come out here and start buying stuff all over again right and so i made a gravel pad in the shape of a circle we put them there and i call it the seating circle now i'm transforming it from being a circle because we have now put up a gazebo however it will still be called the seating circle okay guys so tell me what you think about naming the different rooms or different areas in the garden do you think it's too quirky or do you think it's cool right remember it's like a country vibe here now let's get cleaning in the garden guys stick with me i appreciate your company so much and over here is mostly just going to be fruit trees and vines and stuff like that. It's not going to be like big garden. What? Probably get more from the rain. Yeah. Some little buggers are going in my clothes and biting me. not sure why the camera is not staying on let's see maybe i just didn't turn it on but you guys should have seen i repositioned the swing and i sat on the swing and i didn't notice that there was a little frog there let's go and check it out and then when i went to sit again i was gonna sit on the other side and i said oh my goodness there's a little frog i would have sat right on it luckily i double checked check that out i don't know if it's sleeping because usually oh it's moving a little yeah i like bumping into these little creatures around the garden <gasps> way better than the chipmunk <laughs> okay let's oh my goodness he jumped now i'm gonna have to make sure when i'm walking around i don't step on it I hope it goes under the seat. Little fella, I'm so sorry I disturbed you. Maybe I can try to get it back on the seat. Let's see. I 
I just don't want to step on it. Okay, so now it's under the seat. So let's, oh, I guess I'll just have to be careful around here now. Okay, moving on. I'll keep my eyes open for this little fella. This old ripped up top belongs to another swing in the front. I'm definitely going to be recovering it. And so, it's not going out. There we go. So it's going to stay right there for now. I just got to keep looking out for that little fellow. Now, I think I want to leave this patch of grass. And these are um, some type of a milkweed. And they're great for the monarch butterflies. So I'm going to leave them too. Um... But most of the grass and stuff, I think I want to push further back. Just a few of them I'll be leaving here. Patches, right? Because I want to have butterflies and stuff in this area also. But yeah. It's so good to get things going. Oh! <laughs> I just fell into a hole a while back that my hubby dug this hole because he said he was going to put a fence across here so that we could put up a deer fence but I really don't want to separate the space and so we haven't paid attention to this hole and I just fell deep into it <laughs> I think I'm going to shovel some dirt in it Okay, that's taken care of. Now moving on. Now I have two honeyberry bushes and I don't know where I got it from that they needed some type of a trellis or something. So I have them over there by a trellis. So I'm going to be moving them. So that's why I was just standing here thinking about where I want to put the honey berry bushes. I have an elderberry here and I kind of don't want to put anything too low and bushy in front of the swing. There's so many um, rocks around in this area here because we are on the Canadian Shield for sure. And so I was trying to see if I could dig that one out, but I think it's too big. So I'm going to leave it be and put the cardboard over it.
it may look like I'm cutting down stuff that I shouldn't cut down, but believe me, there's a lot of space behind there that a lot of the stuff behind there are going to be left. But like in this area here, no, I need some place or some space to plant fruit trees and vines and canes. And yeah, I want to be able to reap lots and lots of fruit during the summer time. I wish somebody would bring me some lunch. I know I'm just trying to connect all the areas where I have fruit trees and shrubs and vines because I'm looking forward to getting some mulch. I have so much to do um, to transform this place and so I'm doing it a little at a time and so usually I don't have a list I come out and there are some things I need to get done and I will do them otherwise I just do freelancing eh? and just do what I feel like doing what my mind tells me to do and so yeah this is what I did today, and I think I've accomplished quite a bit. There's still some time left in the day before dinner time, so I think I'll get some more done. But I'm just going to finish up that area, and then I'm going to move on to something else. Okay, I think this will do for today. All in a day's work. Now this area was done before and I still have quite a bit of um, cardboard to use that Paul and the boys took home for me. When did you guys go out again? You got to pass by there again and see if you see any more. <laughs> Any more cardboard but check that out over there guys I am accomplishing what I want because there is no way I would be able to get rid of all the weeds and stuff that I don't want here so putting on the cardboard is my best bet so um, on top of my big rock this is my aerial view from my big rock So I just put on cardboard that have now joined all the plants that I have in so far. So over there to the far left, I have an elderberry. Then that black pot behind the blue one is a honeyberry. Then here we have a plum. In the middle here are some berry wild berry shrubs that were there that I decided to leave. And behind there... That black pot is another honeyberry. Behind this tree right here is a pear. 
right here we have an apple over there we have another pear and in the blue um, planter over there we have a cherry tree along the fence there which you may not be able to see so clearly I do have a kiwi and I am gonna try to espalier a cherry along the fence there I want to put another panel of fence here to put another cherry and then right here in the entrance I'll be making another arbor to take I have two grapevines. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to put them both on it because they're two different ones. Um, I may just put one there and then there is another entrance area here behind this tree. I may put another arbor there and then put another grapevine over there. But yeah, guys, I'm going. I'm going in the front right here. I have some squash and corn, which the chipmunk has cut down maybe about <laughs> a dozen of them um, a couple of them i noticed were just pulled out of the hole and i pushed them back in yesterday because they have roots but this morning i came out the chipmunk again pulled them out of the holes so yeah i'm battling the chipmunks here guys thank you guys so much for being here i appreciate you you keep me creative and you keep me creating let's build that community vibe here that's what i want so much and that is why i have chosen to use my pet name which is peaches my given name is valerine valerine elaine vernon married name gilchrist right so we want to keep it relaxed we want to be able to interact with you guys so before you leave please remember to give me that thumbs up share the video and absolutely leave a comment let me know where you're watching from we are actually originally from jamaica we are both from montego bay jamaica well we live outside of the city right i lived about um five miles not even five miles maybe four miles out of the city and my hubby lived about eight or so miles out of the city but we usually say we are from montego bay right i would love to know where you are watching from thank you guys so much remember now dare to be different follow your own star i will see you in the next video